Tom Martino. We have a lot going on today, and a lot of people are looking for jobs. Paula is live in Westminster where there's a job fair going on. Just what you need, right, this time of uh, the economy. So let's check in with Paula. Paula, what's going on? That's right, Tom. I am at the Doubletree North here in Westminster. Tomorrow they're going to have uh, a, a job fair here. This is with Jasper Contractors. They're looking to hire 30 uh, management positions. They're going to try to uh, fill account manager positions. Now, these are uh, these new hires, Jasper Contractors says uh, they will pay 100% of their health benefits, not only for the new hire, the employee, but also for their family. So, good jobs. Also, with so many Coloradans unemployed right now, the Colorado unemployment rate is still hovering about 9.2%. We wanted to help people, you know, basically get prepared for these kinds of job fairs or other job interviews. So we have some insights from some recruiters as well as human resources people about what you need to do about your resume and your appearance. Every person is a brand. This Metro State marketing professor uses his expertise to help the unemployed better market themselves, starting with a resume. Grammar and spelling, just okay. making sure that it's absolutely clean, okay. because I think that's the number one thing that's really going to get you into pile B. He also says watch your email addresses. Cannot be hotchick83 at gmail.com. Reader's Digest says once you're unemployed more than six months, you're considered pretty much unemployable. We assume that other people have already passed you over, but Duber Smith disagrees. You want to show that you didn't just sit around collecting unemployment. I think that's the bottom line. But to have a gap in employment now, I think that's that that's actually expected. Reader's Digest also says don't put the year you graduated on your resume if you're in your 50s or 60s. Don't ever put your date. And if you're younger, be more presentable. Take all the earrings out of your ears. Cover up your tattoos. Get a shave. Pull up your pants. Finally, think about self-improvements. Do I need more education? Do I need to enroll in some community college courses to, to enhance my skill sets? Do I need to enroll, enroll in a uh, writing course to, to help my writing or help my a public speaking course? Also say when it comes to your resume, make sure it is large type print, kind of like my script here, because the, the really small type is just too hard to read. And don't make your resume any more than two pages. They don't want to see any more than that. Now, here's the information again, Tom, about the job fair, which is here at the Doubletree Hotel tomorrow. It's going to go from 8 o'clock to 6 o'clock tomorrow. That is Jasper Contractors. They're trying to fill 30 positions for those uh, manager, manager positions here. And that's going to be at the Doubletree here in Westminster. And it's really easy to find. You're just right off of 30. This is the Sheridan exit. We're also just right next to the RTD Park and Ride, Tom. So a lot of people uh, can take the bus over here and just walk right over here to the Double Tree. It's going to be very convenient, 8 to 6 o'clock. Be ready and have your resumes ready to go tomorrow. You know, Paula, that one nugget of advice, it seems so simple, but when you see spelling errors in an email or a resume, I mean, how that is so preventable, but it really does get you in the B pile or in the C pile. Exactly. It's a very fast way to get kicked to the curb. That's, you know, they've been saying that uh, from, from day one, you know, job interview 101. Make sure your spelling is and your grammar is correct as well. And it's amazing how many people dress inappropriately, as he said, and they, they don't even, they don't groom. Listen, this is a hard time right now. If you need a job, you need to take the advice. And of course, the job fair is a great place to start.